March is over, but we are looking back at some of the highlights in the Ministry of Home Affairs. The Barbados Doppler Weather Radar System was officially commissioned at Castle Grant in St. Joseph. The radar system assists in detecting, predicting, tracking, and managing climate events. It is in our best interest to develop our own systems and our own independent analysis to allow us to be able to forecast what is happening. When a hurricane is coming, the plane goes into the hurricane a certain distance from the United States. And this is not with any real reference to Barbados because this is a big focus of the National Hurricane Center in the U.S. is information for the U.S. We need to, from Barbados to be able to, as early as we can, read the systems that are coming so we know what is coming, so we know what Barbadians have to do, so we can inform our people of what to expect. For the Barbados Fire Service, the month of March was busy. Officers from the BFS embarked on the first in a series of training and familiarization exercises of caves and gullies, starting with Cole's Cave in Walt Spring, St. Thomas. We're here basically to do a familiarization tour in the cave with Dr. Wanza. Um, we're recognized as a department that almost every day we have hikers and persons entering the caves and gullies doing expeditions and just for fun of it. Um, I know Mr. Wanza, he's a, a ardent um, hiker and cave explorer. And so we recognize over the last couple of weeks or months that per persons are in these caves, but we as a department really don't know the terrain and the outlay of these caves. If something happens, we still have to be the ones to go and rescue them. So we believe it is, it is, it is timely that we get familiar, familiar with these caves to ensure that if something happens, we don't only have to take an additional civilian data to guide us, but we will already have an idea of what the cave look like, and also these gullies, because it is important that we be proactive in saving lives. At the end of the day, we don't only want to save the life, but we want that, that your quality of life after the rescue is just as good as it was before or even better. Also in March, Minister of Home Affairs and Information Wilfred Abrams toured several stations. I want to thank the Chief for facilitating us this morning. We visited a couple of stations, we went to Bridgetown, Worthing, and the airport. We were able to hear some of the concerns of the fire officers, to see some of the equipment that is in need of changing, to see some of the conditions at the stations that need addressing generally, just to get an overview of the state of preparedness of our fire service and their ability to function uh, with what they currently have. The, the men and women of the Barbados Fire Service are doing an excellent job with what they have. Things are difficult with the government, but quite frankly, we need to invest in the fire service and to make sure that they're able to respond to every eventuality. We're coming into hurricane season and the fire service doesn't just out fires. They are a necessary part of our first response team. During the tour, the minister discussed the possibility of a unified dispatch system for emergency services. When the system is activated, a caller only needs to dial one number to contact the fire, police and ambulance services for emergency medical assistance. 